How's it going traders? My name is Neil Pathakar and welcome to my channel called Friday University where I teach you what they don't teach you in school. In this video we're going to go over ticker APVO and the short trade I made on that ticker with the strategy gap up short. Now I want to explain how this stock could have made you a nice percent gain, how you short stocks, why you would short this stock in particular, and this is just another lesson going forward to take your knowledge of the stock market and the penny stock day trading market to the next level. So let's get into the chart. Here's the chart, APVO, and this is the one day, one minute chart on this ticker, November 3rd, 2020. Now, what stands out to me is the overall move made from 6 to 9 back to 7.4, which is the current price. But let's take a step back. How did I identify that this stock was worth trading? Now, when I saw this stock at 9.12 a.m., I was able to make sure that I found these key levels, which weren't there yet. However, I was able to put those lines in to mark support and resistance. So I saw this massive move from 6 to 9, and then that was when I realized that this stock might be worth trading because of the percent return it can make to the downside. Now, I look at the one year, one day chart. And after I noticed there's a gap up in the chart, here's the gapper, I wanted to find the key resistance level to short. And I noticed $10 was the area where no matter what, it would not be broken. So I made my plan on my position size calculator to enter at 8, 8 at 9, 12 a.m. and have a stop loss of 10, 10. That way it gives me a big cushion to the upside to take a stop loss if needed. And it gives me my position size and that's when I can realize my target price. So I get into the entry at around 9, 12 a.m. and I immediately am winning, but I don't sell or buy back here for the win because I'm hoping for a big move down to fill the gap. And it continues to downtrend, downtrend, patiently waiting, and in this range, I take the win. The key levels are marked by this resistance, support that broke, support that broke, and support that broke again. All these things are really important factors, and you got to come to the market ready for any situation. Even if I had to take a stop and take a loss, or sell early and take a win in here, or even hold longer and have my um, target price be $7. Overall. The notice thing is the gap up, which you can see from the gap up scanner. It was the top one with like a 40% gain, and then it retraced back 30%, and that's how you can make a substantial return. Now to prove to you that this is what happened, I'll pull up the Discord where I was able to real-time alert from my Friday University Discord where I was able to make this trade. So this was simulated day trade just to make that clear because I'm in the transition period with my account. So at 9.13, short 143 shares, 8.8 8 at 9.12 a.m. And obviously my initial target price was 6.5, but because of the channeling here, I decided to take the win at 7.5. 6.5 was a great entry target price initially, but it's not going to be achievable in this one day time span. So I took the 752 as the new one and I took the dollar gain win. Have a great day.